Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new mystery box video. This is a box from my friend uh, Winnie Fred over in Hong Kong. She's a sub 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 subscriber of my channel and uh, she has sent me uh, another mystery box before. I will link that video here and I have also sent her some of my double uh, toys and yeah, now it was like her turn again and she has sent me a new box. This has taken quite a long time to arrive here, but we are testing out what's the like easiest or cheapest and fastest uh, way um, to send back things from Germany to Hong Kong and from Hong Kong to Germany because it's like, it's, it's so far away. But it's amazing that this has arrived. It actually arrived directly Christmas, like Christmas Eve on um, the day. But I had so many other things to show you before. So I kept this like for, for a nice um, unboxing in January. I only know two things which uh, should be in here and they are not from me. So these things uh, will, will stay hers. I will tell you what it, what it, has, uh, what it is about those. Uh, but all the rest of the stuff, I have no idea. So I've also not opened it, as you can see. So uh, it is really a mystery. I have not peeked in there. Okay, there we go. It's open. Oh, here's a super sweet letter to my dear friend Lau. Oh, so let's open this first. I will just see if it's anything, oops, spoilery or not. Oh, also it's a long letter. So I will definitely not read this. Oh yeah, it's, it's long, it's long, it's long. Wow, and this is so nice paper, so sweet. I won't read this out now and also not uh, in front of the camera. Um, but just look at this cute stationery. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, let's get into the box directly. What's in here? Okay, I think this looks like it is what um, what's hers and what will stay hers. Okay, the other thing is a surprise, but um, yeah, I also want to show you these because um, these are Generation 1 My Little Ponies that you have not seen on my channel. I don't have them. They are also not for me, so I can't keep them, but at least I can show them to you on the channel. Because uh, Winnie Fred is also a pony collector. She is, in general, she's a toy collector, but it's very difficult, she says, to find, um, like, especially the 80s um, vintage toys over there in Hong Kong. So um, she has a smart little uh, My Little Pony collection. The newborns are her favorites and this is noodles and why did she send noodles to me and also wind whistler uh, it's because she says both of them have problems with their hair and i can see that so with this one here are some plugs missing and she yeah i can see that she just does not have very nice hair anymore and she just asked me uh, if i could try to restore them a little bit better, put a little bit of hair in. Now I'm not doing this like for random strangers. I also had like questions if I would take like commissions for re hairing ponies and stuff like that. I'm not doing that. Um, but as we are sending packages back and forth anyways, and I figured a both would not be like a huge re hairing thing. Here are just a couple of plugs missing. Um, and let's see what I do to her. So either I can restore her original hair She's actually a pink-haired pony, 
or I um, put new hair in. So, but this is noodle. No, yeah, noodles, not doodles. Doodles would her uh, would be her um, like twin because this is one of the newborn twins. Uh, I think from the first set, so generation one, my little pony, year five. Yeah, year five, um, and. She has them all, I mean all of the twins, not all of the newborn ponies because there are some that were European releases, uh, so the bedtime newborns for example she's missing, but she she has the coolest newborn collection I have seen and this little girly here, you can see there are just some plugs missing and the tail is very thin, so I will see that I will probably, um, if I have the correct color, I I think I have it because I have so many different uh, light blue and turquoise colors so I think I should have the correct one and I will just put uh, some plaques in because someone uh, also recently asked this um, if it's possible to just partially rehair a pony of course you don't have to rip out all of the rest of the hair because this is super nice still but if there are just some plaques missing like in between you can just replace those so yeah Noodles, Doodles, her sister, uh, would actually be pink, but she also would have this ABC symbol here. I don't think that these were released over here, at least I've never seen this set of uh, newborn twins. So the Noodles and Doodles, the ABC symbols, but yeah. Yeah, and then Wind Whistler. Wind Whistler, as I said, actually would have pink hair, so it's one of the fading pink uh, hair situations that we have here. Um, I think this should be the non-so-soft version, yeah, because actually um, Wind Whistler was a pony, um, one of the huge set of um, so-soft ponies released in the US in year 4 already, so 85 around that time it was like a huge set of I don't know over 20 ponies I think uh, some of them that were also released earlier already some of the characters but all with flocking and uh, Wind Whistler um, also was a flock pony but in Europe here um, so that's why I never show you any flocked ponies they were not released at all instead uh, they, like, <laughs> they have like shrunken down the set to like six ponies uh, all like new characters and they release them without flocking. So that's also my guess. I mean you can deflock ponies but uh, she does not look as if she would have if there was any flocking on her ever. No, I, I think this uh, probably is one of the European released um, non so soft versions of Wind Whistler. And uh, Wind Whistler, Wind Whistler <laughs> is actually a pretty well known pony from being um, one of the main characters of yeah, the old TV show and the old uh, movie. So um, the 80s also had a My Little Pony um, cartoon and uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I have tried to watch it. I have watched the first special. I've watched some of the other episodes. Yeah, I don't really get into it to be honest, um, but I know Wind Whistler from there. Um, yeah lovely pony. I do not have many ponies in this pose. Wow. And the symbols are a little... what are they even called? Like... <laughs> that makes a sound. I don't know. Whistling noise things. And she looks even better when she has pink hair. So yeah, Winnie Fred, I will do something. Let's see if I, at first, I will try to get this hair really nice and soft again. Uh, if that works, then I will repink it. Uh, the tail is amazing, so I would not do much about that. But if uh, I will also repink that, and um, if it does not really get nice again, then I will replace the mane. Probably would not replace the tail. Trying to repink that because I always try to keep as much of the original hair as possible. Uh, yeah, Wind Whistler. So yeah, as I said, not for me, but the rest, she says she packed in black um, paper. Oh, what's that? Benny Bear. Um, 
so it's uh, a surprise and I don't know what it is. Oh, she really has done like this. Oh, wow. So it's really like a surprise. Ah, oh, I think I will need my, oh no, wind whistler. Scissors here. <gasps> What's that? That looks like a poly pocket. She is also like, I think her biggest collection that she has are Polly Pockets. This is the re... I can see that. It's literally, it's a reproduction uh, Polly Pocket of the Party Time Surprise. This is extremely, like it has gotten extremely um, uh, expensive over here. And it's of course not sold anymore. Oh, oh my goodness. I don't even have the original one. The original party time surprise was my childhood one. And this is the amazing looking reproduction. So um, before, like maybe you remember a couple of months ago, I showed you a reproduction of the um, Starlight Castle. So Mattel is doing some new pro Polly Pockets that are based on old ones, just in different colors. And this was the first one they did. And it comes with all the pieces. Oh, this is amazing. Thank you so much. Of course, I was more on the hunt for, for like the real vintage one uh, because that was my childhood one. But uh, whenever I see the reproduction one, I also try to like uh, get it, but most of them it's like, nah, too much. <laughs> oh, wow classic square shape of the early Polly Pockets because the original uh, Party Time Surprise is one from 1989. 89, yes, sometimes I say it the other way around, 98, no, 89, um, uh, and would be a hot pink. And this one, as you can see, is purple and is caked in glitter. Uh, they have done the original Bluebird logo again, of course. Um, but it says 2018. So they did that one in 2018. And they have used different colors and the hinge is a little bit more loose than uh, what it should be with the original ones. But it is essentially the thing that I had as a child. Here is a dense floor you can... Oh, it's a little bit stuck. Oh yeah, that doesn't work really well. You should be able to turn this and then she could uh, twirl around like a DJ booth and of course here is her bedroom with a toilet but it's all decked out in party decorations because it's her birthday and here's the dinner table with the cake and everything and here's the big present and it can open up and uh, I always put the teddy bear in there because the teddy bear is one of the this looks really good it has exactly the same shape as I remember it is her present and it also comes with a skirt and with Polly. Oh, she is a little bit green around her nose. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, can you see that? I guess that's from the paint. But she essentially is the same shape. She has just, you know, one, one feet is up. It's like she's a little bit like dancing. Uh, just a different color than the original one was and oh my goodness there is a little papery skirt that she can put around her waist this is only the first thing in there there are like one two three four five six i don't know how many more like oh is this going to be a long video i was hoping not because i was like oh there are probably a couple of things in should not get too long but oh no Oh man, they all feel as, as if they are Polly Pockets, like... No, don't do this! Oh, this is something else. Ah, this is something... Wow, it's also something miniature, but it's something Toy Story! I can see Jessie peeking through! Ah, wow! Oh, 
Ah, and he's woody as well. And the RC Racer. I, I've never seen them, so I don't know if they are new or, or old or if they are a Hong Kong Disneyland thing or... Wow. <laughs> they look a little bit like a mixture of uh, the, the figurines. Look a little bit like a mixture of Lego and modern Polly Pocket. Okay, yeah. So it's uh, actually kind of three little vehicles because all have uh, wheels so they can uh, be pushed forward like a toy car and I mean this is essentially a toy car and you can put the figurines on and um, uh, all of them say um, Tomika, Tomi, Disney, Pixar, then made in Vietnam so they don't have a date so I don't know if they are new or if they are like old because um, I mean with Jesse being in uh, it can't be earlier than Toy Story 2 which would have been 1999 but I, I know that um, Tomi is a toy company um, I'm not sure if it's a Japanese one because I always have it in mind with Tomi and Takara so I don't know if this is really a Japanese or maybe it might be also another um, Asian country that uh, Tomi is uh, working in a lot but basically uh, stuff that's released in Japan also had a lot, often had like releases in um, like in other Asian countries like in China, Hong Kong, parts wherever. But I don't know. I, I, I like them. So here's RC Racer. So and with Woody on. So it could be directly from Toy Story One. You know the chasing scene in the end of the movie, or it is just um, in general. Yeah, because we also have Jesse. Jesse on Bullseye. And Bullseye also has little wheels. I don't know if you can could remove. I think probably yeah. So also Bullseye can be on its own feet or hoops. But I think it's the funniest when you put him back. And then there is this little wagon here. That you can open up the top and could store things in. I have the feeling it should be like a little, um, I don't know, um, train thing where you could uh, attach them to each other, but I don't know how that would work. Maybe like this. Ah, haha, yeah, like this. So. I have uh, a little display of um, like pretty small Toy Story stuff because I'm a huge Toy Story fan. It's one of my favorite uh, Disney slash Pixar franchises. I mean, obviously, toys, that's, that's my jam. And um, I have, but not, not this small. The ones that I have are not this small. But I have uh, my Toy Story collections in my uh, bedroom, so not in my main display somewhere here. Yay! So I don't know what they actually are. I mean, miniature Toy Story toys, but are they from back then or are they now? Because from nowadays, I don't know. Oh, what's, what's that? Uh, this is a different shape. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Okay, this definitely is something in its original packaging. What is it? This looks like something from Generation 2. Wow, but pretty small. Like, what is that? This is definitely original generation to my little pony something on card because otherwise it would not be as yellow as it is so by the way can you see this mess here Peach. 
chain. Ah. Oh. I don't know what this is. This is something Chinese. I, I, I don't know. So you can see here the original Generation 2 My Little Pony logo. And uh, G2 ponies were not this small. But this is also not a McDonald's thing. So it's a keychain. And she even comes with her brush and it Supposedly it's light heart. Yeah, of course, because behind this bubble she's probably white. I mean, actually, light heart is white. I have a version of light heart. I have the full, ma full magic motion light heart or whatever this is called. Um, wow! I'm not an inbox or in um, on card collector, so I'm really like. Ew. What should I do? Should I open it up or should I keep it in there? Here you can see this is actually a white pony. So I'm like very intrigued to find out if she is still white behind the bubble. Hmm. Oh, she even has a gem in her eye. Okay, I make this now official. Please tell me in the comments and I'm already sorry for if the comments are not open at that point when you want to comment maybe try to reload the page sometimes I have reopened them again because sometimes my comments just shut down please tell me in the comments below should I open this up or should I keep it in there I mean if I would open it up I would very very carefully do this and of course keep the packaging but I don't know she would probably look better off this uh, yellow bubble. Mm. When is this actually from? Yeah, 98. So the end of the uh, 90s. So that's... Woo! Okay, there's so many more packages. No, this doesn't. Here. Ta-da. And it's from Hong Kong Disneyland. So that's amazing. I was like guessing that she probably got this at Hong Kong Disneyland because I also saw some um, recent photos of her being in Hong Kong Disneyland. Like, wow, and these are like big buttons or patches? No. What, what are you also calling this? I, I'm calling this buttons. I know some people call it something else, but it's basically when you. It's not a pin. It's a. I said some, some people are calling it badges, badges, yeah, button badges. So one of Chewbacca, one of Kylo Ren. Oh, and what are these? Are these sticker sheets? I guess they are sticker sheets, so... Oh, they are funny. Oh, I like them. So... are just um, normal from the... Um, from the sequel trilogy pictures but I could put this on my back now I have already two back tags for my two big bags let's see if I maybe put this on one of my bigger um, like weekender bags maybe then Chewbacca Kylo Ren oops yeah that way around and then these are really funny because Uh, the art style is very um, cartoony, so I like that. That's R2. Oh, wild Chewbacca. <laughs> then an original Stormtrooper. And Darth Vader. Very classic. 
I think these are sticker sheets. I can definitely stick one or two of them on my laptop, on my work laptop, because I have a lot of Star Wars stickers on there. Thank you! And these are all from Hong Kong Disneyland. I'm 100% I'm sure. Yeah, it says all of them. I mean, that's the coolest thing. I would love to go to all the Disney parks since the <laughs> has started. Um, I haven't been to any Disney park. I mean, I could potentially go to Disneyland Paris, but it also has not really worked out. So, uh, woohoo, what? What's, what's, oh my goodness, there's so many. It's too much. Let's put them all here. At least black fits my <laughs> fits my aesthetic today a little bit. Oh, that. Tinder, what's that? Is that something cosmetic? It looks a little bit like cosmetic. Number one, so I guess it's something makeup related. Maybe a blush or maybe. <sighs> Wait, can I not get it open? Wow. Oh, it's a little makeup palette. So, like, um, um, eyeshadow, I guess. It has a little bit crumbled, one of them, so that's... Mm, one of them was really glittery, so I think this one has a little bit lost a little bit and shed all over it. So I will just show it to you closed, but um, when I get this off, I'm 100% sure I can use all of the other colors. And I'm using um, like uh, um, eyeshadow all the time. Uh, so I'm one of the persons who, who uses them daily. I mean, when I'm doing makeup. Some days I'm not doing makeup at all, but... And these are really nice... Colors. I know you're not here for the makeup, but thank you! I can definitely use that. And Natinda, I have never heard of. It... I think it is a Korean uh, thing, because I, I can read there's a lot of Korean on there. So apparently Korean makeup and Korean skincare and all that stuff is very good. Um, thank you! Okay, let's... Hello, let's put this here. I was not expecting something like this, but this is something I can definitely use. I'm using... I'm ju I've just got myself a new um, palette, more like greens and... and um, and yellows, but this is really nice. Guys, do so you know what this is? These are figurines for the Polly Pocket Cinderella castle. Oh, because I have I have the castle, but I bought it completely empty without figurines and I was okay with it. Um, I can see the carriage. <sighs> wow, I didn't know it is this glittery. I, I knew it is see-through, but I didn't know it is glittery see-through. And a lot of figurines. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's amazing. So I can put them on the castle and can display them with the castle. It will look gorgeous. So here's the carrot. It's a little bit uh, like, I don't want to say yellowed, but this is 
hundred percent like what 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 just uh, will happen to all of, of those see-through plastic over time but this is still in a very good condition so it's not too yellow I've seen much much yellower ones and they are the horses I mean mice uh, horses <laughs> so that's the pumpkin carriage and then we have five one two three yeah five figurines so it's one of the evil stepsisters um, e either it's Drizella or it's Anastasia I can never tell them apart who's who here's the other one I think this is Anastasia and this is Drizella Ooh, with their booties um, then Cinderella herself in the original dress so not her wedding dress and not her um, like her rags dress no that's herself then here's Prince Charming here he is a little bit loose wobbly, wobbly. Um, I, I definitely have to try um, to find a way how to make these because I have a lot of poly pockets that are pretty loose and I think you can put some something in there to make it less loose oh and then there is Lady Tremaine so the evil stepmother Woohoo, love her hairstyle. <laughs> it's not as elaborate as in the movie. I always think it looks like. <laughs> oh, cool! Okay, this is amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. I sometimes I'm feeling like I, I, I come. It comes across as if I'm taking this for granted that someone sends me something, but this is so special. I already know what I put in your package, so, but there are so many more. It's, it's, it's a pony! It's a G1 pony! Stop it! But I guess you have this already, I guess it's, it's one that you have double. Because it is another newborn. Oh. oh my god. I think this is um, sandcastle, maybe? Or shovels. Uh, one of the two. Let's uh, find out. Yes, I was correct. It's sandcastle. <sighs> oh, so cute and insane. So good condition, so I don't have to rehair or anything. Oh. Look at this amazing pose. This is like the, the newborn unicorns are my favorites because these teeny tiny stubby horns and uh, her symbols are, yeah, you can see that it's Sand Castle and also a shovel. So that's why I was not sure if it's Sand Castle or it's shovel, but shovel is. Um, light blue. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. <gasps> I mean, I hope you, you don't go out of the way to buy me these things because it's so hard for you to buy it from over there, but I guess it was one that you just had double. So, Ooh, what's that? What? This is something for oh oh oh, oh my! <gasps> like what, what? What? I don't even know what this is called, but I know this is one of the vintage Polly Pocket um, stationary compacts from a little later. So not not one of the first ones, but from '95 or '6 or something. I think so. Or is this, is it even the makeup thing? Let me let me check because I don't know. I don't I don't. I'm not even knowledgeable about this. How does it open up? Should be actually normal, right? Yeah. Don't throw it on my goodness. Uh, she put a sticker here, don't throw this away. Because actually what happened in the last unboxing that I did from, from her package was there was this teeny tiny um, like miniature piece 
and uh, I didn't know that there was anything else but apparently there must have been a figurine attached to it that I probably threw away threw away like it was just like oh my goodness no <laughs> Oh, let's have the hat. Um, at first, check what it is called. And I hope you don't see this mess again. The Shooting Star, yeah, which makes sense, eraser case. So I guess these were then all erasers here and then one pencil. And, oh, oh wow. Oh my goodness, and, and it's from 95, so I was also a little bit correct about that, but oh, she is fancy! It's one of the figurines. Yeah, that's the one that belongs to it. I have never even seen this one for sale here in Germany, like never, so I don't even know if this was released over here. Word 95, yeah. It basically looks like a complete, like a real poly pocket, um, like compact, but um, it feels a little like light, more lightweight than if it would have like a complete, um, like um, landscape in there or something. And it also looks a little bit like more hollow here because I mean, sure these were the places for the erasers and in there there is this lovely rainbow and it looks like if it is raining and I mean which makes sense when the, the, it's raining and the sun is shining then the rainbow comes and there's this lovely like uh, meadow here and you could set the poly in there and then oh this moves, I mean moves, but this also moves, so it's like it rotates, that's what I wanted to say, it rotates around. And, and here is the fancy Polly Pocket with her gorgeous hat and flowers and sunglasses. <laughs> she really looks funny. Ooh, I think she's even wearing a neck holder dress, wow. So you can directly see that it's not one from like the early 90s, it's like the mid 90s and it's also shown in the color of that compact. I, I, I think this is really rare to be honest, at least here in Europe. Um, thank you so much, like wow. Ah, okay, I see. So this uh, compartment here, this is where you have to put the doll. And the other ones were probably erasers and then I guess a small pencil. Wow! So two more to go. I still can't believe. These are like green army men. So definitely to something Toy Story. But I don't know if these are real Toy Story or if they're just generic army men. Oh, this is amazing <laughs> for my Toy Story shelf. I have two, I just have two army men on my Toy Story shelf. Oh, this is so many of them. But yeah, they say Disney Pixar. So they are directly meant to be the ones from Toy Story. Ooh, how fun. Like uh, normally it would be like, oh, what, what should I do with this? But I mean, yeah, it's Toy Story. And uh, now some of them have the same, but there are quite a lot of different um, shapes in there. So. Super fun. <laughs> and they say 
uh, Disney Pixar and something something think way toys so oh that will be fun to to decorate my toy story shelf a little bit differently now so that I have more things to put on one left no two left oh my goodness I was lying one of them was behind me so it it's, it's too much really Strawberry shortcake. Like I, I, I'm saying something like, oh, and she doesn't find uh, 80s vintage stuff very easily. But this looks to be an original, right? I mean, strawberry shortcake kind of is still produced somehow, but they all look different. So this is, I can tell that this is an original one, right? She is so cute. She looks so good. I mean, she does not have her hat, uh, but in general, I think this is Strawberry Shortcake herself. She even smells. Yes, it says 97... 17... <laughs> 79. I'm sorry for always mixing up the, the numbers because when you say it in German you say it the other way around and then when I say it in English it sometimes comes out as 97, no, 79. She still, she still smells. Isn't that the one? Did, Winifred, didn't you a while back tell me that you have found one? And now you're sending it to me? Or is it a different one? Or maybe I'm mixing up things, but I only have two and both of them were also gifts. So I have not gotten um, any strawberry shortcakes like myself. Uh, I'm not really on the hunt for them, but I do think that they are really, really, really cute. I especially love the small animals, so the friends. Wow, her hair is really neatly <laughs> cut. And I'm 100% sure these are the original clothes, right? And even she comes with shoes. Oh, this is so sweet. Ah, uh, she actually has a big like head, but oh, look at that. Those faces really, really look uh, it's like they really are special. If you don't, if they don't have bangs, sometimes it looks strange because they have such a huge forehead but styled correctly. Oh, that's so sweet. Yesterday I was just rearranging the shelf with my uh, strawberry shortcakes on. So, and then I was like, oh yeah, I haven't gotten any more of them. Now I have. At least I think she is kind of scented. Because I also know that the small bodies, so they, the small animals, they are definitely also scented. I have some that are still very much like smelling a lot. Um, but I think the dolls also were scented. Yeah. Is she able to stand? Yeah. With their shoes, they're really uh, well um, standing. Now, this is the last one. <clears throat> oh my god, oh my god, this is so fun. Another one! Oh, this is one of the small, oh my goodness, one of the yellow ones. I have to research now because I don't know their names. I think, yes, because it's smaller, so it's one of the, I think they were twins, to be honest. So I definitely have to find out uh, how they are called or how this is called because I just have one because I have the feeling they were twins so okay I don't think that it is one of those that I thought of because they have curly hair but they also uh, yellow hair but those would be called uh, lem lemon ada ada lemonade like lemonade with uh, 
Uh, also yellow hair. This one I think is butter cookie. Um, oh, here she would have more like a hat, but I think this is also what she's wearing. And she would have this little um, bear. Wow. No, I didn't know about her. Uh, they're, they're, uh, the way they are rooted is it's not really well, let's say. They, they have not a lot of hair, but uh, they were actually all supposed to wear hats, so then that would be covered anyways. So let's see what I can do. I think it's the wrong way around. I think you should put it maybe... This is the front, I think. Ah, but I think it's the correct one. Oh, so sweet butter cookie. Not sure if she is still smelling. Scented. I think you don't say smelling. Smell is probably a bad smell, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I can also she can also stand. Thank you so much. Like two poly pockets. Like um the the accessories or the, the polys for for my Cinderella castle. There's even a my little pony for me in here. Strawberry shortcake, Toy Story, this generation two keychain, makeup things from from um, Hong Kong Disneyland. Okay, now I really have to do a really good good package for you, <laughs> but I will definitely um, do uh, the, my hair treatment and the best I can do for your two ponies. So thank you so much, and I hope for all of you who watched the video, you also enjoyed that. Um, I know it seems a little bit like I'm a spoiled brat here with getting all of that stuff but I'm really really appreciating uh, all of this and uh, yeah please tell me in the comments should I open this up or should I leave it in this yellow bubble because I, I, I can see that people would like uh, to have it like no don't open this up because then you're taking one away from the market that's still in the, on the package on card um, but also this poor little pony is trapped behind this yellow bubble so I don't know so thanks so much for watching um, and yeah don't forget to also give this video a like and, um, and um, see you real soon and may the toys be with you Bye!